Use D2L Assignment Grader for your iPad mobile digital device to easily grade and synchronize learners' assignments with Dropbox folders in D2L Learning Environment. This tutorial shows how to navigate D2L Assignment Grader. To begin, you will need to log into D2L Assignment Grader using either a D2L Online Courses or an Edudentity account. Alternately, you can try out the demo mode. For this example, we will log in using D2L Online Courses, which is your D2L Learning Environment instance. Enter the web address for your organization's D2L Learning Environment and tap Connect. D2L Assignment Grader connects with your Dropbox folders in D2L Learning Environment so that assignments are available to grade online or offline. As a best practice, synchronize D2L Assignment Grader with your Dropbox folders to ensure the information is up to date in both. To do so, tap Synchronize from the action bar. Tap Download to obtain a protected copy of the desired assignments within D2L Assignment Grader. Note, once you've downloaded the assignments, you can choose to work offline and sync again later when you have internet access. After downloading Dropbox folders, you can browse learners' assignments using filters. You can filter by course, due date, or ungraded items. Submissions are categorized by course. The associated Dropbox folders are nested within the course. For this example, tap the Poetry Analysis folder to view the associated submissions. In this view, the submissions are organized into those that are graded and ungraded. Tap a submission to get more information about it. For this example, we want to know more about Myrna Albers' submission. Tap the information icon for a description of the assignment and to view the availability dates of the Dropbox folder. Tap the icon again to return to the submission. Expand the learner's profile to view attached files, submission date, and a message from the learner if they've included one. Tap to close the profile. After reviewing the submission, tap to expand the scoring and feedback drawer. In the score category, you can manually enter the learner's grade for the assignment, or use an attached rubric if it's set up in D2L Learning Environment, which will update the score field when complete. For this example, Tap Essay Rubric to begin grading the assignment. Select the appropriate levels and criteria to establish the learner's grade. When you are ready, tap Save and Record. Your selections from the rubric will transfer to the score. Feedback can come in one or more forms, written comments, recorded audio or video, or text annotations that are saved in a new file. For this example, tap the Feedback field to provide a text comment. Next, we will annotate the document. Tap Draw. You can tap the selector to change the color of your pencil, undo or redo an action, erase a marking, or scroll within the document. Then, draw or write with your finger. Next, tap Highlight. You can tap the selector to change the color of your highlighter or scroll within the document. Drag your finger over the text you want to highlight. Next, tap Create Note. You can tap the selector to change the note style or color or delete it. Tap the document to add the note and enter your text. Tap Underline. You can tap the selector to change the color or scroll within the document. Drag your finger over the text you want to underline. Tap Strike Through. You can tap the selector to change the color or scroll within the document. Drag your finger over the text you want to strike out. When you've finished annotating the document, tap Done. To continue grading, you can scroll forwards or backwards through the learners, or return to the list of learners. For this example, tap Users to return to the list. From the list of learners, you can identify which submissions are graded, ungraded, or graded but not synchronized. Tap Sync to synchronize the newly graded assignments with your D2L learning environment. 
Use D2L Assignment Grader for your iPad mobile digital device to easily grade and synchronize learners' assignments with Dropbox folders in D2L Learning Environment.